all night recording. We had a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm Alexander Madge, and I was the cinematographer yeah. and assistant editor. Okay, let's just drop this shit <laughs> for now. Um, okay, right, we're gonna talk about the shoot very quickly. We've got the whole shoot team here, minus the actors. Yes, Me, Marcus, I was the director on shoot, and then. Um, I'm Michael and I was the producer of the show. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to basically organise everyone. And the and, cameraman. Yeah, and the cameraman. <laughs> trying to rein Marcus in a lot. And lighting. And, and yeah, well. I, I moved lights. Yeah. And, and Alex. I, I'm Alex and I was the cinematographer and I helped out lighting as well. Okay. And Alex isn't being marked on this, so he's... Don't mark this based on Mad. Um, right, yes, yeah, so... Um, we just don't mark half of the piece. I guess kind of... Oh, <laughs> I've got to bleep that, haven't I? <laughs> um, right, yeah, so um, in terms of sort of how the shoot kind of went, we're doing this retrospectively, obviously, but um, obviously, as mentioned previously in the post, we filmed, it, we filmed the pieces in improv thing, and um, that was quite a new experience for all of us. Um, you guys, in terms it was, of it was as an absolute pain, camera work wise. Yeah, what what, what what did you have to like achieve? Uh, was, like, what did you, how did you have to change your style? We had to. Uh, you couldn't <coughs> film stuff that was just being set up for a nice angle. You had to film purely to make sure you got the actors completely in, mm. made the image look nice, but made sure that you mm. never lost them, so that. It meant playing with focus and changing the shot mid scene was very hard as you couldn't interrupt them whilst they were on a roll. Because especially with your kind of so sort of like you, you're good at like DSLR stuff, you like making things pretty. Yeah, that was the, the other time. thing. I yeah. only got to film probably about ten shots on SLR and I had to film the rest on Z5 handheld, which I hadn't done since first year, and because of that, it was very, yeah. very uh, it was odd. It was a almost as a new experience. I think the big thing, sort of, for us that was in, um, sort of, that was uh, in terms of what we wanted to achieve from the from the shoot itself was we were we weren't shooting for we weren't shooting for style. We were shooting for content, if that makes sense. Because because obviously, as I, I mentioned previously, that um, on the one hand, what's really good about improv is that it allows you to um, kind of get some uh, like. The, mm -hmm. Uh, it get you get much better content and stuff like that. Like the actors are more natural and they're more invested in the piece, so there's a much higher energy to things. But on the flip side to that, because you can't plan out what they're actually doing beforehand, it's like well, you can obviously kind of get a basic understanding, but you can't set up fancy close-up shots or anything like that. So you're much more limited in terms of, um, especially when it comes to a cutting style. Like it's much more shoulder to shoulder, well, essentially shoulder to shoulder, but without the shoulders, two to two. Michael, or how one did to you? Three. Or one to three. Seven to nine. Seven, yes. Seven, Seven to nine. nine. Okay. Um, Michael, anything that you've got to say? Like, did you did you enjoy? Like, what what did you reckon? Yeah, I I, I really quite enjoyed it. It was just the fact that um, we had to rein in the actors quite a bit and just trying to hit the certain plot points to obviously have the progression of the story was um, quite difficult. But um, we generally talked to the actors quite a bit of what we needed less of and more of, what was slightly inappropriate and appropriate. Because yeah. I think what was nice was the way that we, um, the, what we worked out the system as we went. Because obviously, like, it was all very like the way that the shooting was going to go was always going to be very dependent on how the actors were and stuff like that. So we, um, I see a big one for us. The system that we worked out was we'd do three takes basically where sort of things would just get increasingly better and better and better. Like the first take the actors would be kind of trying to find their footing and understanding the pace and they obviously wouldn't have had feedback from us to start with, well not much anyway. And then they'd kind of, they'd almost develop the script on the fly for the first three takes. And then yeah. three is an average of course, but um, and then for the next two takes after that what we do is we just we'll say just right. Just completely re um, mix it up. Yeah, like just completely just fresh, like yeah. bringing none of the old gags that they had before back in. And that was some like that's some of the best stuff that we've got. That's the stuff that we've used mainly because for some reason I think once they understood the pacing and what was required of them in terms of delivery, they kind of got it all across. So, yeah. 
Um, there'll obviously be production stills on the blog and stuff as well. We had GoPro set up, so we'll get some stills from there. Put up mm, on the the GoPros were unfortunate in the fact that they got yeah. everything in shot, yeah. including us as cameramen, which means to make them usable, it would have had to be cropped from what was 1080 down to probably about 480. We did have a lot of stuff set up, like, as, well as, the, as well as the GoPros, which obviously <coughs> weren't usable because they were fish eye and they got pretty much everything, including the boom and his grandmother yeah. in shot. <laughs> so the, the, the SLRs were another unfortunate mm. thing. They, they captured, they were set up to get the more close up mm. shots, kind of just the faces of certain mm. actors, but unfortunately they, they were so. They just look obviously weird. different when they, when when they, they, when they yeah. cut between SLR yeah. to Z5. It, it's, it's, so it's clear even from sort of the point of view of like as I was going through in the edit and stuff, I had these sort of grand ideas of going like, right, well we've got footage of the DSLRs here and there and that stuff will all be really useful when it fits in, but they've got such a specific visual style to them in terms of the footage and stuff like that. Um, it's quite difficult to sort of fit them in without it looking odd and especially as well um, kind of you can cut um, you can do big cuts or you can do small cuts but if you make it too kind of like if we suddenly cut from here to here that would look weird I'll maybe I'll, I'll do a jump cut jump cut and then putting it back okay cool uh, no, that's a practical slightly off central okay okay sure. there we go. Okay. Um, but yeah anything else Michael Any? Yes, I think that no, was sort I can of, think of it went really well. We got, I think, was it eight hours total of footage? No, more than it was about more eleven than or twelve about days. So. Eleven or twelve hours of footage by by the end. So um, for for me, it was because we shot it over what? How many days? Three, three days. Three days. And there was about days. yeah, three yeah. tapes a day generally yeah. between two cameras. So yes, yeah, fourteen hours of footage. Yeah. For me, it was probably a little bit more enjoyable than for these guys. These guys, <coughs> you know, getting marked on it and also being a little bit more invested than me. But me as a cameraman, I basically got to stand there and film stuff and just play around with the camera as and a, play around yeah. SLR stuff, which for as me is what I enjoyed doing. As an outsider on the shoot, how did you think our working dynamic was for Michael and I? What did you reckon? Did um, we work well together? or? <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, sure I think ev I think, ev I think everyone mm -hmm. I think everyone worked well together on it. Um, the actors really came through on the second day. Um, <coughs> the first day it was a little was bit a little slow, slow, but that was yeah. to be expected by the fact it was three actors that hadn't played the parts. They had to get used to the parts. It was yeah. us three hadn't quite got the dynamic of how the whole piece was going to be filmed and put mm -hmm. together. When it came to the second day, we knew exactly that it was this, this, and this, yeah. and this, and the actors knew that they needed this time, this time, this time, and it just really pulled Fine together and I think train. I think yeah you can really see it in my opinion the f footage I yeah. myself can well look we really in. shot a good, a good chunk of the stuff from the first day yeah. anyway because that was just but I, I can look at the edit and mm. look at it and know which was first day which was second which was right. third because the pacing and the flowing is just mm. top just, notch nice on the second and it third just, day it just works like the, the, the jokes are all on point um, and these guys as well, as sort of in terms of their camera stuff, it was all really good. Like they were always like, like I've obviously spent the past month looking at it. So it's all like the stuff. It's all all in focus, all nicely put together, and it's all generally it's speaking. It's, I, I well, the autofocus it does its best. <laughs> and like um, in terms of like, the, there's a few in in terms of uh, like the framing's nice and that kind of thing. Considering that it was all handheld and we've had to move on the fly with stuff, it's all gone quite positively. How was I as a director, Michael? <laughs> um, you were quite good. You you commuted quite well. Um, maybe we perhaps in some cases too much. Yeah, mm. I I think it was quite apparent that you are an actor's director by the fact that with the actors you were on form all the time. You knew what to tell them to get the best out of them. But yeah, yeah. I don't think you understand yeah. the meaning yeah, of rolling. Yeah. <laughs> I say rolling and you guys no, roll. No, 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 yeah, no, you no, don't no, say rolling yeah, and I no. don't just suddenly speed up everything I've When, when we say oh. we're ready to go and you say everyone ready to go and everyone says yes, me and Michael start rolling and he says rolling one, I say rolling two. And then you say that action. that that and didn't then, happen. Like, so I hope this is cut from the but, actual um, B blog. Yeah, I'm gonna cut before we start an argument. But um, bye. Okay. Bye, Phil. Bye, Liam. Bye, Chris. Bye, Elliot. Bye, bye Jordan. Guys. Bye. Who else are we forgetting? Jordan. Jordan. Did you say Jordan. Jordan. Oh, Elliot. Chris. Liam. Phil. Bye, Ewan. Mandy. Bye, Mandy. <laughs> <laughs>